did you enjoy that? We were getting the all 45 minutes today. It's always great um, being a, a young player and getting the nod to go and play in front of the fans at Ibrox. It's still a surreal moment for me. I've also been a boyhood fan of the club, so no, it's, it's amazing. It's been a difficult time to, for you to try and break through, isn't it? But you, to get the chance to be in front of the, the fans in a, in a big game, that must have been so rewarding. It is. You, you say difficult, but it's it's amazing that I've got all these top-class players to learn off we, uh, day in, day out. and. If I get my chance, I'm just there to grasp it with both hands. Who's been the, who's been the biggest influence to you on the training room in terms of the development? Now? Everybody's been amazing, um, especially Connor and Tav, the, the lads that play alongside me in my position, um, just putting their arm around me and taking me in under the under the wing and just making sure I'm okay. Yeah, it's quite a few defenders out injured at the moment, but we have attempted to. To move away to get more first team football, did you feel this is the best place for you? I was f solely focused on this club and I'm, I'm delighted to still be here and getting the chance that I'm getting now. Do you hope you can maybe get a full run out and choose and captain? It would be amazing, yeah, that's, that's what I'm looking, looking to do is to get 90 minutes under the, in the tank and play as many full games as I possibly can. Leon, uh, were you a wee bit annoyed with Scott Arfield for failing to finish that chance off at the end and deny you a beautiful assist? Oh, Scotty's just Scotty, you can't really be mad at him. Uh, <laughs> we had to be laugh about it after the game, but no, he's, it, it was a great run and I just managed to play the pass at the right time and managed to stay on side, but it was just unlucky not to score at the end of it. Leon, great to see you get minutes today. In terms of your, um, like, Progression and and you're obviously the manager will have given you at the start of the season like where he wants you to be and things like that. How excited are you to now get on Ibrox two home games, get those minutes and then kick on and target more more minutes and more performances? As I say, it's it's amazing. Obviously, growing up supporting the club and then managing to get out here and play in front of the fans at twice in a row now. So it's it's a surreal moment for also me and my my family. And but the family here? Yeah, they're up, they're upstairs yeah. still. Uh, it's just something that I've, I'm so grateful for the manager giving me that opportunity. Leon, it's probably the most expressive and free Rangers performance of the season so far. Has there been an impact from Wednesday night? Maybe just getting that, that hurdle clear that's maybe been in the back of the players' minds for the first few weeks of the season and now it's really just free flowing? It could be, but I, again, the, the team's been so together for the start of the season when we met back up and flew out to Portugal. Everybody's been lively, everybody's been happy with each other so no nah, I was I would say obviously Wednesday's a boost because it's, we're back where we should be and we just need to kick on from there. Liam what about the, the centre back seemed to have a lot of time on the ball and ability to step in uh, Connor Golson in the first half was almost scored a goal was that something you'd worked on in the week? Um, not particularly no um, but obviously being a, a centre back at a club like Rangers you need to be able to play and you need to be able to go in and commit players and that's that's something that We'll try and do a lot more often as the season goes on. Leon, you, you're mentioning there about uh, Wednesday being, being such a boost. Just give us an insight. Just what you know, what's it like being about the place um, since that victory on Wednesday? What does it do for the club? What does it do for, for for you personally as well? To be honest, I don't think it's quite set in yet because it's such a short turnover in between every single game now. So um, if I if I ever get a minute to actually sit down and take it all in, then I think I'll be a bit taken back because also I'm not old enough to remember the last time that the club were in the Champions League so it's it's amazing to be there and be a part of it. Leon, are there any of the six games in particular that you're looking forward to in the Champions League? All of them. <laughs> As I say, I've, I've never got that chance to experience a, a Champions League night here at Ibrox so it's something that I'm extremely looking forward to.